Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. The Japanese government has recently approved the marketing of its next-generation fighter jets, developed in collaboration with Great Britain and Italy, to other countries. This decision represents a significant departure from Japan's pacifist stance adopted after World War II and is part of a broader initiative to bolster Japan's defense industry and assert its role in international security. To facilitate these international arms sales, Japan has revised its guidelines on the transfer of military equipment and technologies, now permitting the sale of jointly produced lethal weapons to third-party countries, extending beyond its initial development partners. Historically, Japan has maintained stringent restrictions on arms exports, in line with a constitution emphasizing pacifism due to its militaristic past and subsequent defeat. However, in response to escalating regional tensions, particularly with China, Japan has gradually eased these regulations to assume a more assertive role in global defense affairs. This marks the first instance where Japan has authorized the export of lethal weapons that it co-produces. Through collaboration with Italy and the United Kingdom, the project aims to develop an advanced fighter jet to replace aging F-2s, originally designed in the United States, and the Eurofighter Typhoons utilized by the British and Italian armed forces. Known as the Global Combat Air Program, GCAP, this project is anticipated to yield a jet that will provide Japan with a technological advantage over regional adversaries such as China and Russia, with deployment slated for 2035. Criticism has been directed at Fumio Kishida's government for advancing the fighter jet project without sufficient public explanation or formal approval for such a substantial policy shift. Addressing these concerns, the government has clarified that export authorizations will initially be limited to the jet project, barring any sales in active conflict zones. Furthermore, the Japanese government has committed to ensuring that the revised guidelines on arms exports pertain specifically to this jet, necessitating cabinet approval for any future alterations. Sales will be restricted to the 15 countries with which Japan has established defense partnership and equipment transfer agreements. The cabinet's endorsement of the jet sales initiative reflects a strategic aim to prevent Japan from being relegated to a mere supporting role in the development and manufacturing of the new aircraft. This decision coincides with Kishida's forthcoming state visit to Washington, where he is expected to underscore Japan's dedication to deepening military and defense industry partnerships, signaling a notable shift in Japan's post-war defense stance. That's all for now, see you later.